Okay, time to feed these hungry uh, Steam Deck fans and Linux gamers. Oh, I got news for them. <laughs> oh, by the way, hello viewers, mornings, another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good, or excellent. But, all right, listen listen up you Fedora, Fedora users. I got some news for you. Listen to this. It says here, Fedora 41 beta drops Python uh, 2 and adds new uh, miracle spin. It says here, the beta version of Fedora 41 is now available for all of its different edition, including Fedora Workstation, Fedora Server, Fedora LOT, Fedora Cloud, Fedora Core OS, Fedora Spin, and Fedora Labs. That is a lot of Fedoras, you know. Anyway, it says all you need to do to try out the beta is head to the download page of your desired edition and then look at look for the show beta download toggle then version 41 should be available complete with a checksum file to ensure the veracity of the ISO file uh, according to Fedora magazine beta release are code complete and, and closely resemble what you can expect in the final release by grabbing the beta you can test out the thing you care about to ensure they work and if not you can report them and have them fixed by the time of the final release. Not only will you benefit Fedora users, but these tweaks will will uh, push upstream to improve Linux in general. There are quite a few notable change coming in Fedora 41. One big change for a developer is that Python 2 is being dropped, meaning software needs to be updated to support Python 3. There is also a new spin available called Fedora Miracle which use a tiling window manager built on Mer computer uh, library. Uh, it says here's the full list of changes provided by Fedora magazine. Subtopic Valley Key Replace Redis. As Redis recently uh, uh, changed to a proprietary license, we have replaced Redis with Val Valley Key. Val Key. All software shipped by Fedora is open source and free software in line with our Freedom Foundation. If you are currently using Redis, see how to move from Redis to Valley Key for our migration help. Goodbye Python, subtopic, goodbye Python 2. Starting with Fedora Linux 41, there will be no Python 2 in Fedora other than PYPY. Uh, package required Python 2.7 at runtime will need to upgrade to a new version or be retired also developers who still need to test their software on python 2 or users of software that cannot be updated can use containers with older fedora releases subtopic uh, proprietary nvidia driver installation with secure boot support uh, although it can't be a part of fedora linux we know that we know that the nvidia binary driver is pragmatically uh, essential for people for many people. Previously, NVIDIA drivers installation had been removed from genome software because it didn't support secure boot, which is increasingly often enabled by default on laptop. This change brings the option back for Fedora workstation users with secure boot supported. This is good news for folks who want to use Fedora Linux for gaming and CUDA the change also helped Fedora stays relevant for AI LLVM workload. <laughs> All right, uh, subtop subtopic DNF5 is here in Fedora Linux 41. DNF package management command will be updated to version five. Then it says DNF5 and boot uh, C will be available on image-based Fedora variants such as Atomic Package and Fedora uh, LOT, close parentheses. <laughs> the new package will make it simpler to build and update bootable uh, container image based on these variants. And then another subtopic, DNF and boot C in image mode Fedora variant. In Fedora Linux 41, the DNF package manager will be updated to uh, version five. The release is faster, smaller, and better. Then it says pick all three. You want to need, and uh, it says you won't need to change uh, habits. The command is still just DNF, and the basic syntax isn't different. 
as one might expect with a major version, there are some incompatible changes. And then it says, see the DNF5 documentation for detail. I'll leave the link. And then it says, uh, subtopic, RPM 4, 4.20. Under the hood, our lower level package management tool is RPM, which, is, which also gets a new release. Bring in new features for Fedora development. Users won't see a direct impact immediately, but this update will help us make distro better over, overall over time. Subtopic again, uh, re, it's a re, reproducible build progress. A post build cleanup is integrated into the RPM build uh, process making most Fedora package now re, re, reproducible. <laughs> that is, you can rebuild a package from the source and expect the package content to be exactly identical. If this, if this is interesting to you, check out Fedora repro reproducible build for, for more. I'll leave those links in the description box. <laughs> Another subtopic, uh, new Fedora uh, re repo query tool fedora, fedora repo query is a small command line tool for doing uh, repo uh, queries of fedora ep epel eln and centos stream package are uh, repositories it wraps dnf uh, repo query separating the cache repo data under separate repo names for faster cache querying Repro uh, queries are, are frequently used by Fedora developers and users, so a more powerful tool like this is generally useful. All right, another subtopic <laughs> KDE Plasma Mobile Spin. K KDE Plasma Mobile uh, uh, brings KDE Plasma Desktop to a flexible uh, mobile uh, format in Fedora 41 as a spin. This promise to work on both both phones, tablets, and two-in-one laptops. Hmm. And another subtopic, LXQT 2.0. LXQT uh, in Fedora will be upgraded to version 2.0, which notably ports the whole desktop to QT6 and add experimental Wayland support. Subtopic, new Fedora Miracle Spin says the Miracle Window Manager is a tiling window manager based on the Mer Compositor library. While it is a newer uh, project, it contains many useful features such as manual tiling algorithms, floating window manager support, support for many Wayland protocols, proprietary uh, NVIDIA driver support, and much more. Miracle will provide Fedora Linux with a high quality Wayland experience built with support for all kind of platforms, including low-end ARM and x86 devices. On top of this, Fedora Linux will be the first distribution to provide a miracle-based spin, ensuring that it will become the de facto distribution for running Miracle. And then it says here, uh, if you want to try the beta, head to the download page. We'll leave the link of the version you want and click the toggle mentioned earlier to download the beta ISO. Yes. And then it says make sure you only run it on a non-primary uh, computer so that you don't lose any important stuff. The final version of Fedora 41 is currently target for October 2022, but this could change. And that's the end of the article. So now, how many comments we got? We got three. Uh oh. Let's see what these uh, Fedora uh, debaters are talking about. Uh, good bot, bad bot said this. I want to go back to genome and still this and and still deciding on Fedora 41 beta or the Ubuntu 24.10 beta about to drop. They both have pros and cons, so I have been going back and forth. Hmm. <laughs> see the benefits of having. See, this is why I tell you guys to have two desktops when you're dealing with computers. You know, at least two. One running this OS, the other running that OS. But anyway, all right. Who is this? And this, um, let's see. Uh, 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 Zika Leafy said this. I am running Fedora 40 LXQT right now. 
it's the only desktop environment I can run on this laptop without it being sluggish. It's pretty amazing the difference in performance might be worth a look. As for Fedora versus Ubuntu right now, I go with Fedora if you like vanilla genome also uh, tends to come with uh, slightly newer software than Ubuntu. <laughs> well, that's up for debate. <laughs> anyway, then Goodbot Badbot uh, uh, responded again. He said, I have recently somewhat higher end PC, so no performance concern. And I'm very familiar with the difference between Fedora and Ubuntu, but thanks. <laughs> anyway, that's all the comments. So, uh, uh, you Fedora users, yeah, you got a new operating, a new uh, OS coming. Forty, uh, what's this? Forty-one. Indulge, be, indulge yourself and have some fun with this one. <laughs> yeah, and um, you know, uh, get used to the new changes. If you just, if you just use Fedora only, well, you could have one running. Uh, what's this? What's this one? Uh, Forty. What's this? Forty. Uh, Forty-one. You can have one computer running. 40 and the other one running 41 just to see the, the the changes for yourself so and then go on from there but anyway that's the news i got to report on this though so. hope you guys enjoyed the video nice talking to you people again chris still star wars star trek thing for dark side oh, go peace